Elon Musk managed to meet with one of the few people more controversial than himself, sitting down with Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro today discussing SpaceX technology. Elon also adding that he expects Tesla to have a fully self-driving car by next year. Cade Metz has heard that before. He's the reporter behind the New York Times documentary, Elon Musk's Crash Course, which debuts tonight at 10 Eastern on FX. Cade, good to see you. You have certainly heard that before. Uh, the things that Elon has said over the years about autonomous cars, are they based in science or science fiction? Well, uh, let's say science fiction. Um, you know, this is a common thing in Silicon Valley to um, look towards the future, but act like that future is here. Um, and the entire industry has promised self-driving um, would be here by now. You know, 2020 was the big day. Um, but Elon Musk has taken this to extremes, right? He promised this in 2018, 2019, 2020. Um, we and he and his company keep missing those dates, but he keeps making new promises. Um, the reality here is very different. A, a car that can truly drive by itself and do anything that a human can do on the road, that's still many years away, um, perhaps a decade or more away. Yeah, Kate, talking about that, because I didn't think you were able to test drive as well and really test this uh, auto drive system here. What did you find out for yourself? Was there anything while you were doing this that surprised you? Well, I mean, I just think it's 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 important to, to define our terms here, right? There are two different things we're talking about. Tesla has long had a product called Autopilot. Um, it's wrong to call that a self-driving system, right? That's an assisted driving system. It helps you on the highways. Um, other companies offer this. Um, it keeps in the lane. Um, it does cruise control. It can brake um, on its own in, in certain cases. Separately, um, Elon Musk and Tesla offer what they call full self-driving technology. Uh, that's a misnomer. Um, it's also something that's still in beta test. Um, a few thousand people have access to this system and it's designed to do more of this type of thing on city streets, but it's limited. Um, like autopilot, the driver is required to keep their hands on the wheel at all times, to keep their eyes on the road to take control of the car as needed. That's very different um, from say what you're even seeing in this video um, uh, as I speak, right? There are cases um, where the car can, can drive itself, but the driver has to keep alert and has to keep take control of the car as needed. The documentary, Kate, also explores when there were crashes. How did Elon respond to the criticism and the investigations? Well, um, you know, that's a complicated question. Um, you know, one thing that you'll, you'll see in the documentary is that, you know, as investigators, uh, federal investigators started to look into this, he got very angry. Um, there's a moment where he threatens to sue um, the federal government just by, um, you know, just because they, they say they're going to open investigation. Um, you know, he, he operates this way um, frequently. Right, uh, he is, he's loath to accept criticism. Um, he believes that his path is the right one. Um, and he doesn't like this sort of thing to get into his way. You see this quite a bit uh, in the document. And Kate, going off of that, because we know Elon is a very public man. He often has public uh, spats with people on Twitter. There was uh, reports this week or just today, actually, that there's uh, SpaceX fraud or uh, SpaceX 250 that they paid $250,000 to a flight attendant who accused Elon Musk of sexual misconduct. Then we have his outlandish behavior on tw on Twitter and what he's been doing with the latest deal uh, when it comes to Elon Musk buying Twitter. All this to say, what did you learn about the corporate culture? that Elon Musk fosters from the number of former employees that you spoke with? He does take a real control over the companies that he runs. Um, one way to think about this is that, you know, he wants to um, fully govern um, these individual technical projects. Um, Autopilot is a good example. Um, he, in essence, wants to lead this project. Um, right, you know, right down to the bits and bytes of how it's built. 
uh, how it's built. Um, you know, he may or may not have the expertise in some cases to do that, but that's the way he wants to run these companies. Um, as he's doing that, you know, um, he he can often be, you know, people have described him as emotionally unstable. Um, you know, he he governs these companies by whim, um, oftentimes. Um, that can come out as anger, that can come out in other ways, but he really does um, control the operation of these individual projects in ways that the, the average tech CEO does not. Wow, and interesting insights there. What do you learn from his leadership style in terms of, I know you didn't talk to him, how do his employees respond to him, respect him? It really varies. So some employees really believe um, what he is telling them and telling the public. Um, when he says that full self-driving will be here within a year, there are true believers inside these companies who really believe that. Um, there are other people who, who don't believe that in, in the slightest. Um, they didn't believe it at the time um, that this was promised years ago. They don't believe it now. Um, you know, some of them are on camera in this documentary willing to say that they, they did not believe these things and don't believe them now. Um, but um, but again, there are others who really back back the man um, and continue to back the man, um, even you know if deep down they know what he's saying in the moment is not true um, or exaggerated. They believe in his larger vision and are willing to work for him and are willing to push towards towards that vision. Well, sir, I know what I'm doing at 10 o'clock Eastern time tonight. That was very intriguing. Oh. Elon Musk's crash course tonight at 10 on FX. Cade Metz from the New York Times. Thank you, sir.